Assisted Volunteer Training Stable Management, Module 1, Mucking Out. First remove and empty the water bucket. It's much easier to skip out or muck out if the horse isn't in the stable. If he's in, then he must be tied up. Never take a barrow into a stable with a horse. Leave it outside across the doorway. Lift all droppings into the barrow. Move the dry bed surface to check there's no wet. If there is, remove that too. Sweep up and remove any bits remaining. Put the bed back down, leaving banks against the walls of the stable. Sweep the rest of the floor completely. There are various types of bedding. We use chopped rape straw. You will often see shavings. You may also see cardboard pellets, shredded paper or coir. The principles of mucking out are always the same. This is long wheat straw. When you fill the hay net, shake up the hay a bit so that it's not stuck together in the net. Tie the hay net as high as you can make it. Always bring its rope down and through the net again at the bottom and then pull it up as high as you can. Tie it with a quick release knot with the end put through to stop the horse being able to undo it and finally turn the net over so that the knot is underneath. Clean out the water bucket with a soft brush or sponge.
refill it. Use two buckets partly full so that the weight is distributed equally when you carry them. Remember to bend your knees, not your back, when you lift them. Finally, tip the contents of one into the other when it's placed in the stable. When you've finished carrying muck, bedding and hay, sweep the yard. Poo picking in the paddock is essential. Take both the barrow and the pooper scoop in with you. You can use the pooper scoop in the field shelter and in the stable too. Throw the muck up onto the muck heap straight from the barrow. You will have to tip it out for the last bits. Finally, tidy round the muck heap and keep it as neat and squared off as you can. Module 2 – Rugs All rugs are put on and taken off in a similar way. Some have leg straps and some have a fillet string. This is a rope or cord at the back which fastens one side to the other under the horse's tail. First make sure the surcingles are knotted together. Fold the rug in half along the centre back, inside out. When you hold it up the whole of the front half is on the outside and the whole of the back half is against your legs. Put the rug over the horse's withers further forward than it should be. Make sure it finishes up in front of the withers and look at it from the front to make sure it's straight. Unfold it from front to back and fasten the front. Go to the off side to unknot the surcingles.
come back to the near side, collect and cross the surcingles under the belly. Then fasten them so that they stay crossed. To take the rug off, undo the front. Then undo the surcingles. Go to the off side and knot up the surcingles. Come back, fold the rug in half, front to back, and slide it off over the horse's tail. The turnout rug is similar. Make sure that the leg straps are clipped up and that the surcingles are knotted. Fold it in half and put it on in exactly the same way as for the stable rug. Fasten the front first and slide it into the right place. Unfold it from front to back. Having unknotted the surcingles, cross and fasten them under the belly. These leg straps fasten at the front. Undo the first one, pass it round the hind leg from back to front and clip it up on the same side. On the off side, unclip the second one, pass it round the hind leg from the back and through the first leg strap. Then clip it to its own side leaving the two linked together, not crossed. To take the rug off, undo the front, undo the surcingles, Then the leg straps and clip them up. Not the surcingles. Fold the rug back and slide off over the tail. Fly rug. Same again, but turn the neck and the tail parts back over the outside of the rug and then fold it in half as before. Put it onto the horse carefully as the belly band will be loose. Fasten the front. Check the straightness and unfold it. Fasten the belly band, not too loose, but not too tight. And then the neck.
fasten the near leg strap. These ones do up at the back. Fasten the off leg strap, linking them as before. Make sure that the tail section is smoothed down. Put on the fly mask with the head collar round the horse's neck. Be careful sliding it onto the ears. Again, fasten not too loose or too tight. Put the head collar back on. Take the fly mask off carefully over the ears. Undo the neck and fold it back. Then the front and the belly band. Finally, undo the leg straps, clip them up. Then fold the rug front to back and slide off. Module 3, Horse Care. Most digital thermometers read low before you start. Put a smear of Vaseline on the thermometer before inserting it. Run your hand along the horse as you move back. Keeping to the side, move his tail out of the way and insert the thermometer slowly rotating it as you go and angling it just a little to the side. Keep it there till it beeps or for about a minute and a half. Remove it carefully, wipe it and read it. The horse's normal temperature is between 37.5 and 38.5 degrees centigrade. To take the pulse, find the artery which runs across the inside of the cheekbone. Press firmly with two fingers and wait until you feel a beat. Then count it for 30 seconds. The normal pulse rate is between 36 and 42 beats per minute. Check for injuries and lumps and bumps, etc while you're grooming. Run your hand all over the horse, feeling for thorns, lumps, scrapes, and comparing the legs for heat and swelling.
Minor injuries first stop the bleeding, usually by using a trickle from a cold hose pipe. Clean the wound. We use hibis scrub, but slightly salty water is fine. Use cotton wool swabs, really wet, and don't reuse them. It's fine to turn over to find a clean part once, but then throw it away. Swab it until you're sure it's clean. Dress the wound. We use the purple spray here, but there are many wound creams which are available and are good. There are many different products for fly protection. This is one way of doing it. If you aren't using a fly mask, apply gel or cream to the face, keeping an inch away from each eye. You can use spray, but put it onto a sponge and wipe it on. Wipe up the edges and backs of the ears, but never inside. Spray or wipe all over, and don't forget the underneath parts if the horse doesn't mind. Check the shoes whenever you pick out the feet. Listen for clanking when the horse moves around. Make sure that the heels of the shoe are not loose and that the shoe is straight. Feel round all the clenches, the turned over nail ends. They should be smooth and flush with the wall of the foot. When you're leading out, don't get too close behind the horse in front. Make sure the gate is open wide enough. Lead the horses in at least five metres and well apart and shut the gate. Turn all the horses to face the gate and all remove the head collars at the same time. Step out of range quickly. Fetch the bossiest horse in first. Keep him as clear of the others as possible and open the gate wide enough for him. Turn him quickly and carefully to see that he doesn't catch the gatepost and that the others don't escape. Be aware that the last horse in the field may be in a hurry to come in.
so be careful when you turn him to shut the gate. Module 4, Tack Cleaning. First, strip down the bridle. Undo the buckles and the billets. And take it all apart. Put the bit into the bucket of water. Lift both sides of the strap beside the billet and push the fold of the leather with your other thumb. Once the strap is clear of the billet, release it from the keeper at each side. Water and saddle soap the old-fashioned way. With a fairly damp sponge, remove the grease and any sweat from all the leather. Wash any saliva, hay or grass off the bit. Take a dry sponge and the bar of saddle soap, shake a few drops of water onto the soap and rub plenty of soap onto the sponge. Apply it to all the leather. This is a conditioner, not a cleaner. Put the bridle back together. First thread the brow band onto the headpiece, making sure it's the right way round. Then attach the cheek pieces. Finally, thread the noseband headpiece through the brow band under the headpiece. Fasten the noseband headpiece. Hold the bridle up and make sure it's all straight. 
then attach the bit. To fasten a billet, slide the strap through both keepers and then wriggle it a little to engage the billet end and press down firmly. Make sure the reins are on the correct side of the bit. Be careful that the bit is the right way round. This one is wrong and this one right. This is wrong. And this is right. The curve goes round the jaw comfortably. Saddle cloths need to be brushed with a dandy brush to remove sweat and hair. Synthetic girths are washed with a sponge and water. If made of fabric, they can be machine washed. To remove the stirrups, slide the leathers backwards off the stirrup bars. Then take the stirrups off the leathers. Put the stirrups in the bucket of water. Sprays the modern way. Use a leather cleaning spray first on all leather. It can be sprayed directly onto the tack. or spray onto a sponge for straps and such like. Use a dandy brush or star brush for all synthetic parts of the tack. Then use a leather conditioner spray onto a different sponge or direct to the tack and rub it well in.
re-thread the stirrup leathers and fasten them. Slide them back onto the stirrup bars and pull down into place. All synthetic fabric-like material, whether smooth or fluffy, needs to be brushed, again with a dandy brush or star brush. Any which is shiny should be cleaned with a damp sponge. Leather may look very shiny, but on the other side it will be possible to see the grain. Leather smells quite different from synthetics and will crease with wear. Shiny finished synthetic will not show any signs of grain and doesn't crease. The matte finish is very non-slip. These straps are woven. This has a slightly fluffy finish and should be brushed. To put a bridle up, bring the throat lash round the outside to the front, clip it through the reins, take it round the back and to the front again. Bring the short part of the throat lash to the front to meet it and fasten them together with the reins at the back. Put the noseband round the outside of everything and fasten it through its keepers. To wrap a head collar rope, make a short loop as close to the clip as possible. Coil the rest of the rope tightly around the loop. At the bottom, secure it by putting the end of the rope through the last bit of the loop. Fasten the headpiece and hang the head collar up. Once the saddle is clean, put it back on its saddlecloth, run the stirrups back and lay the girth over it, not fastened.